Installation of Rockstech HD32BG-EX To install the Rockstech HD32BG-EX, you need the frame, compression units, modules, stay plates, assembly gel, and installation instructions. Mounting the frame. Start by removing the two counter frame parts. Route the earth cable through the aperture. Insert the frame from the outside with a gasket between the frame and the cabinet. Attach the counter frame parts from the inside and tighten the nuts crosswise. Attach the earth cable to the earth stud. Preparing the ceiling modules. Remove the core and fold out the braid on the modules that are to hold cables. Note that armored cables are correctly prepared when a part of the jacket is removed, the cut matches the braid section of the module, and the armor extends beyond the edge of the module. Adapt the module to the cable jacket by peeling off layers from the environmental protection side. and to the cable screen or armor by removing layers from the termination side. The number of layers may not differ by more than one between the module halves. Don't remove the last layer. Fold the braid tightly inside the module. There must be a visual gap of 0.1 to 1 millimeter between the two halves when fitting the cable. Packing the frame. Make sure that the inside surfaces of the frame are free from dirt or dust in order to ensure good electrical conductivity. Lubricate all around the inside surfaces of the frame with assembly gel. especially in the corners. Lubricate all modules thoroughly on the outside and inside faces. Avoid excess lubricant on the braid. Remember to lubricate spare modules. Now all modules in the kit are prepared, lubricated and ready for installation. Insert the modules at an angle from the back. Ensure you start from the opposite end from the wedge area. Turn the modules in line with the frame. Push the modules in place so that they rest against the stopping edge. Route the cables through the frame. Insert a stay plate between every row of modules. Before inserting the final module, insert two stay plates. Push the stay plate aside and insert the last module. 
push back the stay plate towards the last row of the modules. Completing the seal. Untighten the screws of the first compression unit before inserting it. Lubricate the compression unit on all sides with assembly gel. Insert the compression unit until stop. It can be inserted from any direction. Don't tighten the first compression unit until the second one is inserted. Lubricate the second opening in the frame and fill it with cables, modules, stay plates and a compression unit. Use a Roxtech pre-compression tool to make space for the compression unit if required. Tighten the screws of the compression units alternatively to full stop. Visible excess assembly gel is a sign of good compression. Disassembly and reinstallation. It's easy to add a new cable. Untighten and remove the compression unit. Take out a spare module and adapt it. Lubricate the frame and the module. Insert the module halves and the cable. Lubricate the compression units, insert them, and tighten until full stop. Verify earth continuity by using a suitable instrument. Please note that the resistance value may vary by cable type and material. 